Rat Here we have Classified Night Creeper for Cobra Convergence 8, and we have Vintage Comparison. So let's get this started! So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles for hooking me up with Night Creeper. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So we have the same packaging, universal packaging, for all 112 scale figures from Hasbro. They're all pretty much the same, same width and dimensions. Maybe the die cut is a little bit different, but I like this. It's a nice minimalistic. There is like a blue kind of, you know, angled uh, stripes here, as you might see on camera. I don't know if you can pick that up. So we got the G.I. Joe logo, Hasbro logo, Cobra Night Creeper right at the top. We got the nice artwork on the side here, number 121 in the line. Um, I do like this uh, artwork. It looks very cool. Um, check that out. And we have a nice window display of the figure and all the accessories, Cobra logo on the top and on the back of the packaging here, you see the Night Creeper holding his sword. Um, I'm not exactly sure where he is located. Uh, there are lights at the top here and it looks like maybe there's a helicopter in the background and it's hard to say. It's a little blurry, but we got zoom in aspects of the figure right here. You got boring stuff on the bottom, got a QR code. So let's go ahead and open up the figure with my trusty scalpel. So we're gonna go in from the bottom. Boring. And we have a cool cover symbol on the inside of the packaging and it's like a sleeve so you can take it out use it for figure photography which i've used many times so here is night creeper in the plastic so just give me a moment i'll take the figure and all the accessories out of the plastic so i got all the accessories out of the packaging there's one thing i miss about the little paper bags it's, it's much easier to take out the accessories they are in very very well in this plastic it is a little bit of a pain in the butt to take them out so right off the bat one thing i would like to mention that the plastic the durometer of the plastic has changed um so we're going to go over the accessories from smallest to biggest so we're going to i guess we'll take a look at the knife here and it has like kind of a hook end to this knife and a little loop down at the bottom this is a reminiscent of the vintage um, uh, some of the weapons uh, for the ninjas for G.I. Joe, especially, especially Ninja Force, they all had little loops there and a string that can attach. So it would have been cool to have a little string uh, you can attach these two, two blades to. I think that would have been a cool homage. So this is really the smallest thing, this tiny little arrow or bolt. Uh, you can see some sculpted detail on the feathers and a little point there. All done in black plastic, of course. So with Night Creeper, he has two hands here. We got a Ninja Star throwing hand or a Shuriken throwing hand. That looks really awesome. Check that out with a really cool Ninja Star in his hand. That is awesome. The next one, we have a Karate Chopping hand. Uh, it looks like he has maybe some uh, spikes on the back in the inside of his hand there. That looks awesome. Check that out. Nice molded detail done in this maroon. Next, we have two swords, and we'll uh, put them side by side. Why the heck not? And this one kind of has a, a green tint to it and these wicked spikes on it. Check that out. The handle, super ornate. That is really awesome. And this one with the crazy curves on this blade, that is awesome with a really cool handle on there. Freaking nice silver paint jobs. Same with this one, the paint job on this sword looks really cool. I love the handle on it. That is wicked. So here is the crossbow. This looks phenomenal. This is a definite reminiscent of the vintage crossbow. Um, I do have a couple of crossbows uh, for uh, various figures. Uh, I, may, I may have one, I'm not 100% sure. 
but I do have the vintage version of this. Uh, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five arrows here. And I'm guessing you could put the single arrow. And where did the single arrow go? Good question. <laughs> it is microscopic. I literally just lost the arrow. Yeah, so literally I just lost a little arrow. I might find it later on. So yeah, I'm assuming you could put the arrow in the middle like I was saying. Next we have uh, the backpack and it looks like there is a quiver attached to it. So he even has more arrows. And uh, this is a little bent, unfortunately. You can see that uh, being in the packaging, or the plastic packaging kind of bends these softer plastic. That is really unfortunate, but uh, I'm pretty sure you could just bend it back into shape. It's kind of like Play-Doh. <laughs> so yeah, there's a bunch of arrows on here, some nice uh, molded in details, some buckles. We have some uh, storage here and more clip C clips for storage. We've got a peg and we have a little uh, rolled up uh, sleeping bag or a blanket or whatnot at the top and we got some rope molded in here check that out very cool backpack i could see them reusing that and here we have the extra head done in this kind of red maroon color you can see it's a little bit more purple on the mouth this looks very alien like we have a red visor there very cool, very nicely sculpted. We have a little bit of detail on the top of the head. So this looks really cool. Um, I can't wait to switch it out. And you know, I would really like to get a couple of more uh, of these night creepers. Uh, they are looking very awesome. So speaking of night creepers, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Let's zoom in on his head. And uh, you can tell the top, he has kind of like a bullet head. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a gun metal, uh, uh, paint job here that looks really nice. Wow, it's shiny head. It has like this silver visor and we have this kind of uh, hood uh, type of thing on his head. Check that out. Nice sculpted material detail on there. And he, all, he is all done in this kind of uh, maroon type of color. Purple. And there's so much paint going on on this figure and these silver uh, chest pieces. That looks awesome. And he has the diaphragm here that's really cool. Double ball joints, that's, check out that strap detail. And on the shoulder pads, they do move with the arm. That is cool. Hey, check out that uh, butterfly shoulder joint. Moves very well. And there's one thing I've noticed about this figure. It is very tight. There is no looseness at all. They changed the ab crunch, so he does move crunches a little bit not as much as just say the other traditional one but I definitely prefer this type of ab crunch it, it brings a little bit more quality feeling to the figure we got double jointed pinless elbows of course moving down here um, he has a, like purple gloves and he has this really cool paint job on his forearm kind of tiger stripes looking check that out that is awesome. Let's zoom in on his uh, belt buckle. Wow, that is pretty gnarly looking belt buckle done in this kind of gun metal. On the belt here, he, we have some holsters uh, or some, yeah, we have some holsters here to put the blades in or maybe even, yeah, it looks probably where you put the swords into. We'll find out later on in this video. So moving down his legs, we have a two color camouflage paint job here. That looks really awesome. I like that a lot. It's kind of on these gray pants and on the shins, we have these kind of uh, layered scaled type of shin guards, which is really cool. Check that out. You see some black molded in straps. Very awesome. We got some ninja shoes. Check that out. Very nice. You got the ninja toes. <laughs> That is awesome. This figure, it is very well painted. And uh, I'm very happy with this figure so far. First impressions, like, you know, double jointed knees. They move pretty good. Nice 
they're not loose at all and they're not locked up. Maybe this one is a little locked, so just give it a move. So I did a little bit of a comparison with other figures, so I've noticed that the legs are Storm Shadows and uh, he has these uh, added on overlay here for the shin guards. And I'm pretty sure the arms are Storm Shadow and the uh, torso area, it is most likely a new mold. Let me know in the comment section down below and obviously new heads and uh, overlay here for the shoulder pads. Let's go ahead and gear him up. So first thing I wanna try out, let's flip off his head <laughs> and try out the, uh, the other head sculpt here. So it didn't pop, that was not very satisfying. So this head sculpt reminds me of Night Creeper version two. <laughs> that is awesome. We'll have Night Creeper version one right after this video so we can take a look at that. That uh, is definitely a different color, <laughs> but it is looks like the same kind of head shape. Check that out. There's an early comparison for you guys. Really cool. So let's continue. I like this head sculpt a lot better than the other one, but uh, it would be cool to get another Night Creeper and make Night Creeper version two. That would be freaking cool. And I'm looking forward to getting another one. So we got the little knives here. Um, so the little knives do fit in these little uh, sheaths right here, just like that. Oh, here it is. Here is the other arrow. So let's go ahead and see how that fits on the bow. Um, I'm blind sometimes, so it looks like it does fit. Right here, I am guessing. Yep, it just clips on just like that. And this will stay there forever, so I don't lose it. So the swords fit on the backpack on these little C-clips. That is pretty cool. Nice storage for that. So also the swords, I'm thinking with these little loops, you could fit the swords just like that. That looks really, looks like they're supposed to go in like that. I think that looks a lot better. So we got the karate chopping hand. And be careful of the long peg, it will bend, so be very careful with that. That looks really cool. Karate chopping hand with the spikes on it. It'll rip your face off. <laughs> so the left hand will be the ninja star throwing hand. I'll kind of give it a little bit of twist before pushing it in. That looks really cool. Check that out. Awesome. So let's try out the swords. That looks cool. I think I'm going to put both swords in both hands for now, just to see how that works. And that looks awesome. Check that out. And we have the backpack quiver. And let's go ahead and try out the crossbow. So technically, like I was saying before, we only need one trigger finger. I would say, or maybe just add another holding hand or have holding hands. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? Do you think he needs two trigger hands or uh, need two trigger hands, two holding hands? That would have been cool. There he is, he's all loaded up. You can put one of the swords on his backpack so he'll hold all his weapons. And there he is. And there we have it, guys. There is Night Creeper all loaded up. So let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison. Here is Night Creeper version two. Um, I do have another version without a broken crotch, but uh, this is the one that's closest to me. And here we have Night Creeper version one. This is the one that it's basically modeled after. All right, guys, let's uh, take a look at the colors and compare it with the colors. They are pretty much like always with um, the colors, they're always on point. This is freaking pretty cool. And let's take a look at the heads. As you can see, they are pretty much the same color. If I can get a focus, there you go. So there is the vintage Night Creeper's head. 
and we got the classified one. The classified one definitely has more detail and check out the uh, crossbow we have. They're pretty much uh, modeled after each other. Very cool. Night Creeper is something new to my collection. Um, I never had this figure as a kid, but it's something I really like right now as an adult. And Night Creeper version two is definitely a wacky colors. I could see Hasbro doing uh, a traditional colored Night Creeper version two since they already have the head sculpt. It would be a no brainer to make a version two Night Creeper. So there you have it guys, there is my Night Creeper review. I want to thank HCC788 for hosting me on Cobra Convergence 8. Really appreciate you inspired me to do these videos and I wouldn't be able to do it without you. I love your videos. And check out all the great content creators participating in Cobra Convergence 8. Link to HCC788 website will be in the description below. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Yo-Jo and Cobra!